Disaster Response Assistance Team. Proposal with form the foundation of today's National Guard, CSD teams, and Illinois CERT teams. The preparation for the 96 Olympic uh, Games in Atlanta. He wrote and taught the original chemical biological counterterrorism course for civilian emergency responders. That is now the federal 120 city Department of Justice. Then served as the emergency response team location at Birmingham, Alabama. He serves or served as an advisor of the U.S. Center for Disease Control, U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. National Academy of Sciences, U.S. Institute of Medicine, U.S. Senate, U.S. House of Representatives, U.S. Department of Transportation, U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. General Accounting Office, U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, British Royal Society, British House of Lords and House of Commons, United Nations, U.S. President William J. Clinton's Presidential Special Oversight Board, and local, state, federal law enforcement, fire and medical agencies. He's been an advisor on... Screen expert for numerous television documentaries on the effects of nuclear, biological, chemical warfare, and depleted uranium. CBS, ABC, CNN, NBC, History Channel, a and &E, PBS Documentary Channel, BBC, CBC, Gary Knoll, Associates, The Power Hour, German, French, Japanese, Australian, Italian, Spanish, Greek television networks, BeyondTreason.com is one of the films he's in. We're about to go to break. We'll keep him 20 minutes for the next hour, and I again apologize for getting him on 20 minutes late. But the point is, he is the leading living expert on DU, and he can tell you they knew 50 years ago what it did. They never let the troops use it till the first Gulf War. Now they, there's no controls on record. They just use it, no problem everywhere. It's a death sentence. Most of his team is dead. He's had 30-plus surgeries. When we come back from break, Dr. Doug Rocky, there's his bio. And we're going to go over the fact that... Big studies are out. Massive birth defects in the troops. Massive birth defects in the Iraqis. Some cases, what, 14 to 16 times higher. And folks, they have them sit on the ammo cans of it. They have them firing it. They have them without even masks cleaning the guns now. And this is a known death sentence. And it shows you how totally wicked the people are running our government. Dr. Doug Rocky, the foremost depleted uranium weapons expert out there, joins us. He hadn't been on in a while. I know he's had some health issues uh, you know, from the DU. Again, a lot of his team has died from it. Uh, and the point is, 20 years ago, they wouldn't let the troops, 22 years ago or so, use this. Now, there's just no pretense of control, and it's a death sentence. And, and it also is causing deformities. He's here to give us the numbers and break it down. And then I want to ask him, in light of Fukushima, uh, the FDA, of course, raised different levels of radioactive isotopes from 25 times to, in one isotope, 100,000 times what they previously said was safe. Because as the ongoing meltdown hit the U.S., they just said, well, we say it's okay now. Go ahead and drink the milk, eat the food. So there's this new attitude that just don't worry about it. And uh, it's unprecedented. Uh, Dr. Doug Rocky, great to have you here with us, sir. What an honor to follow Jesse Ventura. I mean... He's my hero. I mean, a Navy SEAL, and I'm a Minnesota boy, too, from at heart. So, And then the other crazy thing, one of his team members from his SEAL days was actually supposed to be here this morning at my house, but because of everything we're doing, we couldn't make it work. God, that would have been incredible, huh? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, you know, Jesse, uh, we, we were talking off air about his book uh, and, and the fact that his book breaks down the DU as well. His book is incredible. It's one of the book, books ever written that anybody and everybody ought to read that cover to cover more than once. Talking about 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of those, isn't it? Well, I know when he gets back from Mexico, uh, Doc, he'll definitely want to hook up with you because I know he admires your work as well. That's you know why he's written about it. Uh, expanding on this, I've just got to ask you, what do you think of Ron Paul? Pardon me? What do you think of Ron Paul? Ron Paul? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, yeah, and he's the only, one of the very few guys that's tried to do anything to help anybody and actually gather information. So, I mean... He's a real doctor. He's a medical doctor that doesn't cut, you know, he tells the truth and puts it all out there. I mean, I'm sitting there looking at what's going on all around. I'm going, you know, we've worked with so many over the years. Who do we have that will tell the truth and deal with what the reality is and help everybody? There ain't many out there. Doc, let's say you were on national TV right now because our audience is a lot bigger than most national news shows. And you're talking to three million people, which you are. A lot of them new listeners. What do they need to know about DU? Why is it important? What's the story of it? You know, what happened to you? In, 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 in five minutes, boil it down, then we'll get into more detail. Depleted uranium is the United States military-owned dirty bomb. It is the best weapon ever developed by the U.S. military and the German military to destroy and kill 
everything. It's absolutely the best there is. And as a consequence, we've used it in military operations. We're handing it out to all of our uh, so-called friends all over the world to use as they see fit. A lot of our other nations have decided they can't use it because of the known adverse health and environmental effects that have always been known. And yet, just like Agent Orange and everything else, we are so arrogant and so intent on killing and destroying that we totally disregard the health and environmental effects on our own people, our own military personnel, our own sons and daughters, and we completely, totally, totally disregard the health and environmental effect on all of God's sons and daughters around the world and all of his animals because we just want to kill and destroy. And uh, even though all the medical directors have been out there from day one and during Desert Storm, I issued the original medical directive, and that was followed up by the theater medical command director from 3rd U.S. Army Medical Command. And then now they've got a brand new medical order, mandating medical care for DU, that was just issued here on June 10th of this year. And yet it's totally ignored, totally, totally ignored. Just like the health and environmental effects of Agent Orange are totally ignored because we're the bad guys. We messed it up. We are using it. We're going to continue to use it with a total disregard for all the health and environmental effects. And what we need now is we got a million casualties, one million U.S. sons and daughter casualties out of the nonsense in the Persian Gulf in Afghanistan. And they can't get prompt and optimal medical care. And uh, it's coming back to haunt all our communities. And they're not employable. The families are disintegration. And uh, there's nobody out there, nobody out there offering help. I mean, we're yelling at the top of our heads, and God bless Jesse, man. He's written and yelling at the top of his lungs. But uh, there ain't many of us trying to do what's right. Well, D- Dr. Rocky, what's what's crazy here, and I know you've got the numbers. I want you to break it down as a t- top expert. As you said, 25 years ago, they w- this was for if the Russians poured across 10 to 1 superiority into Germany. It was a last-ditch weapon to use once nuclear war was already happening. It was a force multiplier, a secret weapon. Then the Gulf War comes along, and they go, we're just going to go ahead and use it on Saddam. And then they have the troops go into the areas that have been hit with it. And But still, they did some fake you know, decontamination, which they sent you in for to, quote, study, which was you know devastating for your health. And now it's on record. They don't, they just, they, they say, don't worry about it. You have no safety. And, and now they're using it not just at big proving grounds, as you know, sir. They're using them at regular shooting ranges at bases. They're using them near population centers. So explain to people why DU is so deadly. Well, what happens is DU is, again, it's a primary byproduct of the uh, radioactive enrichment process for the U.S. Department of Energy. If we're going to make nuclear fuel for our reactors, okay, generate electricity, or we need to make new nuclear weapons, then you have to understand we're making new ones all the time, okay? better and better nuclear weapons all the time, and we're developing better and better DU munitions every day of the week. And what happens, 99% of everything that goes into this process is pure waste. If you had any other industrial process where 99% of the stuff that goes into it is pure waste, you would never consider it. And so we have uranium hexafluoride, and the Department of Energy and the military came up with ways to get rid of it. Number one is the DU munitions. Absolutely incredible. Number two, we use it in ballast and commercial aircraft and everything else under the thing. In other words, we're going to need, you know, forklift trucks need it heavy. But the other thing, too, that has hit, hit the scene here in the last couple of weeks heavily is they put it in the DU cream, DU egg. In other words, they're mixing the uranium hexafluoride, the DU metal, in the concrete to reinforce concrete structures and everything else. And the health effects that we're seeing right now, I mean, are devastating on the road crews and everybody else, much less military. So we got a total nightmare. You can't take radioactive materials, put it into the environment where everybody can breathe it in, absorb it through their skin, get it in through cuts, or get it in through digestion, and not expect the health of problems to occur. And everything we have predicted, everything we've been predicted, and everything that was stated would occur in the Department of Defense's own documents going back that I can find 70 years, has come true. And now Fukuyama, the, the catastrophe in Japan, well, you know, the levels to clean up all that stuff, again, how you clean that up, clean that mess up, it is exactly that Army regulation you already cited that my team wrote in the TV that gives you the guidelines. 
but you can't clean it up. And that's what I found at the Nevada test site when I was director and blowing everything up. You can't clean it up. And there is no medical care. So all you do is wait and get sick and suffer, and you die. Like Jim Runge, Andres Carnegie Bob. Well, sir, I mean, I think the best way for you to break this down for people is is what's personally happened to you and your team. I know we were unable to get you on a few months ago. You were at the VA, uh, I guess, there in Virginia. I mean, I know you don't like to talk about yourself. You're an old warrior going back to Vietnam. But describe to people what you and, and folks that have worked around DU have gone through. Well, the, the, what we've gone into, and I mean, I just go back and it's so easy to cite the exact medical problems. Because the Department of Veteran Affairs, in their criteria, that they have sent out telling their physicians, okay, what are the health effects of depleted uranium, okay? And I want to quote this verbatim so I don't make any errors, okay? So I'm pulling it all up. I don't, I'd want to, you know, miss it on this thing. In the Department of Veteran Affairs, okay, the United States, and this, I'm, this is a direct quote, okay? The United States Department of Veteran Affairs, Vision 11, this is... Quote, some things you need to know about veterans, a clinician's guide to veteran-specific issues. Okay, so this is the VA's publication to the physicians providing care, telling them what the medical problems are from DU. Now, these are exactly what I have. And, you know, when you call that day, I'm at the main VA with the, at the War Injury Clinic in Washington, D.C. They were freaking out when you guys called that day because they knew what I was there for and all the problems were there, and the fact that you had found me and what needed to talk about it, they freaked out. Anyhow, here's the exact quote. Physical symptoms which may occur as a result of exposure to depleted uranium are sleep problems, totally confirmed on all of us, mood swings, oh, I mean, irritability is incredible when that weather changes, symptoms in the upper and lower respiratory system. Well, my doctors are trying to stabilize my respiratory through... Uh, all kinds of medications and everything else that control. Neuropsychological symptoms, including memory loss. That's horrific. Chronic fatigue, immune system dysfunction. Skin rashes. Yeah, you don't want to look at my skin rash when it breaks out. Unusual hair loss. Aching joints. Headaches. Abdominal pain. Sensitivity to light. Blurred vision. Now, um, menstrual disorders. I have got that, but Females, horrible and incredible problems where they have to have earliest directives. Gastrointestinal symptoms where you go between diarrhea and constipation. You never know. Nervous system disorders such as numbness and a limb. It's happening to me right now. Multiple chemical sensitivity and all of the birth defects, end quote. That is what the VA directors have told their physicians are the health problems associated with that. When you go to the internal memorandum for the Department of Defense, and this is put together by Colonel J. Edgar Wakayama. This was the beginning of the desert, Gulf War, you know, Operation Iraqi Freedom and During Freedom. What he stated very clearly, told everybody, all senior leaderships, on the medical problems associated with DU, quote, the alpha particle taken inside the body is large doses has producing cell damage and cancer. Lung cancer is well documented. Well, yeah, because well, I've had people, you know, they call me and they go, hey, they don't wear radiation badges.